Hey! 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 You think we set the dog over here on purpose? It happens all the time. She lets it out. Okay, we're trying to deal with it. Take it easy. It's not going to take it easy. My damn child's going to chase my pit bull. Chase your kid. You see what happens. Hey, man, take it easy. It's wrong, man. If it had your kids, it'd be the same way. Put your hands up. It's your hand. Your we have seen many situations where police officers abuse their power, but took a tragic turn when a father was caught in the middle of it. How would you react if your children were in front of a potential danger? The parental instinct would kick in to protect your child, but what happens when you are arrested for it? Let us dive into the story of the illegal arrest of a father protecting his daughter. If you are interested in more such exposure, drop a like and subscribe to you for more. It all happened in Daytona Beach on the 3rd of June, 2023. Chase my pit bull. Chase your kid, you see what happens. Hey man, take it easy. It's wrong, man. If it had your kids, it'd be the same way. Put your hands up. It's your house. Put your hands up. Five, five, six. What? Hold on. Cause you're straight in the back, nothing. You got anybody else standing here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm code four for the second here. You got anything on you? Anything in your pockets? Silver. The police got a mental health call. It is the type of emergency which helps people having mental distress. But the story takes a wild turn. The Daytona Beach Police Department responded to the call and gave their assistance. As the officers approached the residential address tied to the distress call, accidentally the house owner's pit bull was let loose on the streets. This was the turning point of the whole situation. The unleashed pit bull was the straw that broke the camel's back, triggering a series of events that led to the father's unwarranted arrest. The police officers finished with their distress call but were alerted by the shouting of a man. On more inspection, the pit bull was the problem. The pit bull was chasing the neighbor's scared six-year-old daughter onto their porch. Have you ever been chased by a dog? You know how scary it is. The kid's dad was worried about his daughter rushed to her rescue and tried to scare the pit bull away. This was witnessed by the officers. You should note that before this, the neighbor was unaware that there were police in the neighborhood. Officer Allen, who was talking to the father, did not try to understand that his reaction was solely based on parental instinct. With these rights in mind, are you willing to talk to us? No, sir. Uh, I never know like, with the white yeah. tiles. I'm like, who is it? They all drive But Officer Allen had none of that. His arrogance knew no bounds. He arrested, not detained, the father without any reason. The father had a firearm around his waist but didn't touch it once. Funny enough, it was Officer Allen who touched his forearm first. Even though the father was illegally arrested, he knew his rights and the law. By law, he could carry his firearm if he was defending himself, or in this case, protecting his daughter. Okay. Officer Allen and the handcuffed father were on the grass, and the officer stepped onto the front porch, which he cannot do as he does not have a search warrant. Officer Allen also engaged with another police officer about an inaccurate depiction of events that took place. He told it in his favor. In his version, the father was about to draw the gun first, but from his camera footage, it is evident that he was the first to do it. The officer also entered the father's home without any search warrant, which is another law he broke. Five, five, six. What? Hold on, because you're straight in my back, nothing. You got anybody else standing here?
This unauthorized intrusion into the father's living space further blurred the lines between the law enforcement protocol and trespassing. The police also tried to get any dirt on the father, that too through a child. Even now the officers haven't called the Department of Children and Families DCF. Their attempt to file a report aiming to establish a case against the father for child endangerment hit a dead end when they rejected the notion. With the tortoise. I mean, you feel like it was going towards you or? Well, I mean, you don't, you yeah. don't know. You don't know. What did you do when you, with, why uh, did you tap your daddy on the yeah, shoulder? Anger, I mean, his anger was at the dog, but then, you know, like, uh, police officer sitting right here. And you got to, uh, 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 I don't see it, you know, too. Uh, I'm doing it now. Yeah, Where was the pit bull going? We have any priors? Any priors, mental. It's just a civil at the house. Well, all right, why did you run, Paisley? I didn't ask. Depending on which way we go with this. Mother's coming here now, so. How old is it? It was going to attack you? The kid oh. is six. Uh, he's Has like it ever ran after you before? She's on her way. Yeah. Uh, the six year old's daughter. Uh, I know we ran into this. Look thing. at your dad, Paisley. He's in handcuffs. Okay. I thought it was with the seal carry in the yard or something like that. Wonderful or... day, isn't it? Um, it's a beautiful day. I mean, the one thing I found says you can Pickles get a strawberry. Trees and stuff like yeah. that. Pickles the tortoise? Yeah. Two more officers came, and they were found to checking the internet if there were any grounds for arrest. In the end, the legal fight continued till the father was taken to the station where he had to bond out. This situation highlights how the father was essentially thrown to the wolves by law enforcement when he was trying to protect his child. During these, his Miranda rights were read. When his wife reached home, he cautioned her not to speak a word to the officers. This shows how much he knows the laws. After one month, it happened all charges against the father were dropped. After suffering a lot while being innocent, had made the father angry at the law enforcement. Right here, we got you. Right. Uh, we're on CH one too. Right. Um, I'm doing it now. Yeah, so Where was the pit bull going? We have any priors? Any priors, mental, it's just a civil at the house. Right. Well, all right, why did you run, Paisley? I didn't ask. Depending on which way we could go with this. But... His mother's coming here now, so. How old is it? It was going to attack you? This kid oh. is six. Uh, he's Has like, it ever oh, ran after you before? She's on her way. Yeah. Uh, the six year old's daughter. Uh, I know we ran into this. Look thing. at your dad, Paisley. He's in handcuffs. Okay. I thought it was with the seal carry in the yard or something like that. Wonderful or... day, isn't it? Um, it's a beautiful day. I mean, the one thing I found says you can pickles open get a carry, strawberry. Like, trees and stuff yeah. like that. Pickles the tortoise. He had expressed his intent to file a lawsuit against the Dayton Beach Police for the violation of his constitutional rights. This incident raises so many red flags in law enforcement. How did a father protecting his daughter had to face jail? How flawed is the justice system that the people can be abused by the so-called protector? Comment your thoughts in the comments below.